Yo, yo, yo. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the A. LeBlanc Combo Guide, take two. So, in this video, you're going to learn some advanced LeBlanc tricks. On top of me just redoing the original combo guide, because I have a better microphone now, so you're going to understand my explanations. So, level one, you start with your W ability, and... The first combo is auto attack W, auto attack pop back. And then the second combo is W, auto attack, auto attack. But make sure you land your W on them if you do this combo. So W, auto attack, auto attack, pop back. And whenever you pop back in these combos, try to, try to pop back very quickly before your auto attack actually completely finishes because this will make it harder for the enemy to get off two auto attacks on you which will help you win the trade by a lot more now level two you put a point in your queue and you get two more combos which open up over here so you can do qw auto attack this is leblanc's most basic bread and butter co uh, uh, combo that you can do and the next one, you're going to do this combo if you're up against a champ who has some way to interrupt your dash, your W dash, like a Syndra or or a Fizz, if he can dodge your W dash, you're going to want to actually start with your W and then auto attack Q and pop back, or you can start with W and then Q and then auto attack. Either of those is fine. Just you do this because you can still proc electrocute. You're going to lose a little bit of damage from your Q, but it's better than them dodging your W and then you don't proc electrocute at all and then you waste a bunch of mana. So it's for you to decide whether one of these is better than the other in a certain scenario. Generally, if you're able to do it, you want to do QW auto attack though. Now, level 3 you gotta put in your E and then there's a whole bunch of combos that you can do starting from now so let's start off with QW and then just E and auto attack while they're snared and then pop back you always want to hold on to your E until you land near the enemy The next combo is WEQ. WEQ, it's kind of a similar concept to what I was talking about at level 2 where you do WQ auto attack. You do this up against champs who, who they're either mobile or they can dodge your dash. But also, this makes it just more difficult for the enemy to, to react to your E. So this is my preference of a combo to use at level 3, especially when I do all-ins. So you do W, E, Q. Make sure you're auto-attacking and pop back. It's quite simple. W, E, Q. Yeah, I don't see many people do this combo, which is quite sad, actually, because it's, it's much stronger than starting with QW. Because the thing is, you're still going to pop your Q mark, but you're just making it much less likely for the enemy to dodge your E when you start with your W. Because they don't have as much time to, re to react to it. Now, the next combo is, if you're in range to land your E, you may as well just cancel the E animation with your W, like this. So this is EWQ. You press W, and, you press your E, and then quickly press W, and then press Q. And you do this combo if you're again if you're in range to land your E, you may as well just do this because it's faster than using your W first. Now, the last combo that you can do at level three is, let's say you're not in range to land E, but you really want to land your E so that you can set up an assist for your jungler. So you can do this. You can E flash and then QW. And 
Another thing that you could do with this is you E flash and wait for the snare and then QW. Because if you do that, then they can't flash your QW. Alright, now let's skip up to level 6. And keep in mind that if you max your Q, you will do more damage than maxing W. And you will also have better combo options, as I'll explain in a second. But the downside is that you'll have a higher cooldown on your W, and you won't have wave clear. So you're going to need to play extremely aggressive if you max your Q. But this is normally what I do. I max Q these days because I get more combo options. So the first combo, everyone knows this combo. It's just QRW. That's self-explanatory. I don't think I need to explain that anymore. You just do it if you're in range to do it and you feel that the enemy's not going to be able to dodge it. Then you're obviously going to do so much damage if you do that. But most of the time, unless you're playing in shit silver or bronze elo hell, actually there's no bronze anymore, it's iron 4, sorry. Um, you're going to do um, W, E, Q, R. I love this combo when I'm playing against some pussy, like some, some Lux player or some Ziggs. They're just playing so far back and you can't, can't ever hit them with your W and you're just farming from afar. But when they're far away, you can just do this. W, E, Q, R, and yeah. And you'll do a shit ton of damage on them too because you're maxing your Q. So this is 210 damage. And then your ult Q... That's 210 damage too. And then your E. That's 100 damage. And then your Electrocute. That's uh, 80 damage. So yeah, add in an Ignite there. And you can probably kill them if they're at like 80% health. If you just land that. And it only gets better after you get like level 7. And then you have 260 damage on your Q. But honestly, usually after like level 7, you should just start putting points in your W, okay? Because you're going to need the wave clear and the lower cooldown to roam. Anyway, so um, let's say you've primed your Q. Um, so right now I primed my E, see? But when I say prime my Q, like cast Q on something. Now I've got, I've got Mimic Sigil of Malice here. So one thing you could do is up against melee champs. Let's say that you don't think it's safe to use your W for whatever reason. But you just want to get some quick poke damage. You can do RQ auto attack. And you see, that's a, almost 300 damage right there just by doing RQ auto attack. And the reason this is a good combo is... Uh, well, actually, okay, I lied. That's probably not a good combo very often, but it's something you can do, okay? Now, you can do... Um, let's talk about her long-range combos now. So... Uh, this is my absolute favorite combo in the game. It's W R. Make sure you do the fade away for extra style points. Just pop back right as you cast your E like this. Super sexy. Now, this is what you want to do when you're maxing your Q instead of your your W because your W only does 75 damage. So you can afford to just start with your W. You're only gonna lose a little damage off your whole combo. Then. Your Mimic Distortion does almost double what your regular W does. And then you're going to proc your Q with your E and then pop back. So like this. Make sure to do it super fast so you don't get knocked back or something. And if you're super far away, you could even do this. You can even do this. W, flash, R, E. Yeah. And pop back super fast to tilt the shit out of them. And another thing you could do is... W, flash, R, and then pop back to your R and QW, and then auto attack and ignite them for the style points while they die and burn in health. I, so, yeah, there's that combo, and then let's say you're maxing your W instead. You can do W, Q, Q. Alright, so this is, uh, make sure you primed your, your ult with your W, like this. And now you've got your ult W, and you do ult W, Q W, E. Or you can do... This is another variation of this combo. You can do 
Oh, EW. This, this fucking scuttle crap. Alright, uh, let's do. Alt, EW, Q. Uh, so, yeah, these are just different variations of the long range combo. And uh, generally, you can do this combo when you. Uh, people don't usually expect you to be able to just QW them. So, this can be good because it's. It's more reliable than doing the WRQE, but WRQE usually does more damage. It, there are only a few cases. Again, if you're maxing your 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 W, then RWQWE does more damage. All right, now let's talk about long range combos. Not long. Sorry, we just talked about long range combos for a few minutes. Uh, let's talk about her double snare combos. Okay, so there are a few of these, and I didn't talk about a lot of them in my video. So, in my old video, so there is the E R W, and you do this when you want to set up a, a maximum crowd control for your for your jungler when you're doing a gank assist or it's just very good in an all-in or you're up against a melee champ and you want to lock them down all right so the next double snare combo not very many people know this one but you can actually do this in lane with low cdr just watch so i'm turning off auto refresh cooldowns now and you start with q and you wait a couple seconds and then you e and then you R E, and then Q again. And you see that I did 513 damage without even using my W in my combo. And this is great in an all-in. It gives you enough damage to kill pretty much any squishy champ. So again, it's Q, wait a couple seconds, then E, then R, and then you Q again. Oops, I messed that up. Okay, do it one more time. Q, then E, then R, then Q. And I messed it up again. Alright, <laughs> one more time, one more time. It's Q, then E, then R, then Q. Alright. Now, there is one combo which I missed, and I would hate to miss this combo again. So, there is a W Q R E. This is actually a great combo for for picking people off if you're over a wall or something and you want to surprise them. W Q R E. Looks can be deceiving. Or you can do uh, W. You are. Okay, you start walking away and then E flash. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> w, Q R, E flash. See if you if you want to land your E and you want to be unexpected because it's kind of hard to land it sometimes. You can you can do an E flash for style points. I love to do that because it just looks sick and it's it makes it easier to land your E. Okay. So uh. Let me think if there's any other combos I missed. There probably are. Mm. Because this champ really has a lot of combos, and everyone says that she's so easy. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah. So you, uh, you can do Flash W uh, R. This is just a very instant damage. It's probably your fastest way to deal damage, but uh, it's W... Uh, flash WRQ. Flash WRQ, like this. And uh, this is only good when you actually have a lot of items. Or if they're very low health. But it's good because it's fast. That's really its main purpose. Okay. Now... Yeah, I think this video is getting too long, and 
I want to be done with it. So, yeah, thanks for watching. And if I missed anything, please let me know in the comments. Okay, bye.